Trigonometric equations. I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on trigonometric equations. The question is solve 2 cotangent x plus secant square x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi. Well in one of my videos I have the same question and I've taken the domain between 0 to 360 degrees. So that question solution is for the students who have not learned uh, polynomials and factoring polynomials of degree higher than 2. Now this solution is for the students who know how to do polynomial division, right? Then you can approach in the fashion which I am discussing in this particular video. So let's begin by writing cotangent and secant as tan. As you know, 1 plus tan square x is equal to secant square x and cot is 1 over tan x, right? So we'll replace cotangent with 1 over tan. So we get 2 over tan x plus instead of secant square x, I'll write 1 plus tan square x equals to 0. So that is how we can write our equation in tan. Now we'll multiply by tan all these terms. So we'll get 2 plus tan x plus tan cube x equals to 0. So we multiply each and every term by tan x, right? Now, of course, the restriction is that tan x is not equal to 0, right? It's important to understand since then, you know, you cannot divide by 0. Now we get this equation and that is where the, we have separate solutions for the two equations. Now at this stage, what we do is, we do a substitution, because we can factor this. Let me first rewrite this equation with highest power first, so we can write this as tan cube x plus tan x plus 2 equals to 0. Now we will see how to factor this equation, right? You can substitute, let me share with you the factoring technique in short over here. So what we will do is we will substitute let us say tan x as let us say p, right? In that case we can write this equation as p q plus p plus 2 equals to 0. Now to factor this equation which is now a polynomial equation we have to find numbers which can make this equation 0. Those numbers could be factors of 2, right? So we are looking for p equals to plus minus 1 or plus minus 2. Now if I put 1 here, then I do not get 0. But if I put minus 1, then what happens? If I put minus 1, I get minus 1 cube plus minus 1 plus 2 and that is indeed equals to 0. It means that p minus 1 is a factor, right? So that means p minus 1 is a factor, correct? Now if p minus 1 is a factor, we can divide this and then get other factors. Now to divide this, you can do long division or you can do I should write minus 1 is a factor, so p plus 1 is a factor, right? Because minus 1 gives you 0. So now you could actually do synthetic division or long division. So let me do synthetic division as it takes a smaller space. So in synthetic division, what we do is we write down all the factors. You can do long division also. Now coefficients rather. Now p square coefficient is missing, so we'll write 1 p square coefficient is missing, so we'll write 0 for that, 1 for this, and then 2, right? So these are the coefficients, and we'll divide by minus 1, because minus 1 makes it 0. Now, bring this number down, multiply by minus 1, so we get minus 1 here, add them up, minus 1, multiply, so you get 1, add them up, you get 2, when you multiply, you get minus 2, and when you add them up, as expected, remainder is 0. So that means the other factor is this quadratic function, which is p square, and these are the coefficients, 1, minus 1, so minus p plus 2, correct? Therefore, we could write pq 
plus p plus 2 as equals to p plus 1 times p square minus p plus 2 okay now those of you who have some doubts on this you can actually expand and see whether you get the same thing or not correct now what is p for us it is tan x so and this is the equation which we are working on so now i can write change p to tan x and write here so that is a factoring technique so we get here tan x plus 1 times tan square x minus tan x plus 2 equals to 0 right so that is how you can factor this cubic equation in tan x now whenever you factor you know this part will never be 0 this is not going to give us a valid answer but tan x plus 1 can be 0 right so we have one solution from here and that is this could be 0 right so we can write this as tan x plus 1 equals to 0 or tan x equals to minus 1 now when is tan x minus 1 so we are given this to me 0 to 2 pi so within 0 to 2 pi we know tan x is negative if you are in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4 and the value is 1 for pi by 4 acute angle right so so that is the angle correct so that is the angle so the acute angle is pi by 4 this angle is pi by 4 for you correct that is pi by 4 I mean pi by 4 and the principal angle will be here pi by 4 pi by 2 3 pi by 4 and this one will be 7 pi by 4 correct so what we really get in the domain 0 to 2 pi tan of x equals to minus 1 for x is equals to 3 pi by 4 or 7 pi by 4 right so that is how you can find so first find the acute angle which is pi by 4 of course acute angle will be here so we say tan x equals to 1 for pi by 4 now since we need minus 1 it has to be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 4 where the angle should be 3 pi by 4 or 7 pi by 4 right so that is the solution for the given question I hope it helps right so some of you who do not understand synthetic division they can actually do long division also which we can squeeze in here I think or okay you can do it but remember that when you divide don't forget to introduce zero I mean you should write PQ plus zero P square plus P plus two divide all this by p plus 1 right p plus 1 that is how you have to do it and you'll get the same answer correct so so that is the solution for this question go through it once again try to understand and then move on to the next video thank you and all the best